In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up parental controls on Samsung Galaxy phones. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy device, you can easily set up a parental control to manage your kids or your children while using your smartphone. So if I don't know this video, you're able to set up the Samsung Galaxy or Samsung phone parental control, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now the first thing you want to do, when you want to set up parental control on your Samsung phone, is go to your phone settings. On the settings page, you need to scroll down until you get to Digital Wellbeing and Predator Controls. Then click on that. Once you selected that, scroll down and click on Predator Control. You see this? Predator Controls. Hard content restriction and set other limit to help your child balance their screen time. Then click on that. Here, you'll be prompted to set up Predator Controls. So the first you want to do is you can set up the Predator Controls with Google Family Link. Supervise this phone remotely with the family link app for parents and keep an eye on the screen time and set limit as needed. Then go ahead and click on get started. Here, you'll be hacked who will be using this device. So if you as a parent is the owner of this Samsung Galaxy device, then choose parents. But if you are setting the parental controls on your child or teenager's phone, choose child or teenager. So in this case, I'm a parent. I'm going to click parent. Then if you see install family link, the next thing you want to do when you selected parent, it should be prompted to install family link. But if you click child or teenager, you'll be prompted to click on the next button. So as to be able to set up the parental control on your phone as a parent. So go ahead and click on parent, then click on get family link. This is going to install the family link application on your Samsung phone. Then if you see what that says, how do you want to install the family link? Using well, <coughs> using Galaxy Store or Google Play Store. So let's go with Google Play Store and click on just once. Now, if you see the Google Play Store, open Google Family Link and then click on Install. Once you click on the Install button, the Google Family Link will start downloading and installed on your Samsung phone. This may take a couple of seconds depending on the strength of your internet connection. If you have a very good internet connection, the installation of the Google Family Link should last for about one or two minutes. Now, once you've successfully installed the Google Family Link on your phone, click on the Open button. Then. Wait for the Google Family Link to open, and here you see Welcome to Family Link. You need to select a Google account here, so I'm going to select my primary Google account to control the Google Family Link on my Samsung phone, then click on Continue as your name. Wait for this page to load. Does your child have a Google account? If yes, select yes. If no, select no. So in my own case, my child does not have a Google account. Then next, create a Google account for your child. So here you need to create a Google account for your child to set up the parental controls on the family link. So this is going to take about 10 minutes. So in this case, let's go ahead with yes. Then you need to go to your child settings. For an Android device, go to Google, then parental controls. For Chromebook device, go to people, then parental controls. Follow this step to set up parental controls and then tap down it. So the next thing I'm going to show you now is I'm going to take my child's Android phone and set up the parental control on it. And then come here to click on the done button. Now, this is my child's Android phone, and I'm going to follow the instruction here to set up the parental control on this device. So, go to this Android phone settings, and on the settings page for Android, go to Google and then click on parental controls. So, for quick access to parental control, just come here and search for parental controls. Then you can see you have the parental controls on that G2 Wellbeing and parental controls. Click on that. Also click on that, wait for this to load, then scroll down and then click on Predator Controls. So you can do this on all Android devices to easily access the Predator Control function on your child's phone. Then click on Set up Predator Control. There you go. Then get started. So this is my child's phone. Click on Child. Click on the Next button. Then you should see getting ready. So you need to select your child's account. Select your child's account. Now, as a parent, you'll be prompted to type in your Gmail account. That is the Gmail you selected on your Samsung Galaxy device. Then go ahead and type in the Gmail account here. Then click on the next button. Now go ahead and type in your Gmail password and click on the next button. Now, you should see a pop-up on your Samsung Galaxy device that prompts you to confirm that you are the one trying to sign in on your child's Android phone. Click on Yes, this me. Then hang on. Then you should see Checking Account. Then 
about the supervision this is what you'll be able to control as a parent on your child's phone is that us? now to confirm you and your email i've both review what supervision means and want to leave your account you must enter your password now you need to enter your child's password then click on agree now once you type in your password click on the agree button then you see what that says allow supervision tap allow then you go see google will try to link your child's account and your google accounts together just hang on to complete the linking and once the process is completed click on next then you should see managing balogun's app then we have access to all the application on this device then click on next <coughs> then click on next then here manage beta controls to manage balogun settings remotely auto install the family link hub onto your samsung Galaxy desk then click on install family link there you go then look for family link on your device next then review remote you can stay in the loop if you care now all set now you can review and customize predator controls for balogun then go ahead and review click on review controls there you go so this is the predator control settings on your child's phone so once you are done setting this up click on the done button then tap allow then you can see this is redmi note 12 now i now have access to my child's phone then i can set the daily limit i can set up downtime i can set hub limit i can set content restriction account settings devices and a lot more you can see i now have control fully over this device i may choose to lock my child's device on my samsung predator control page click on lock you can see locking there you go so this device is going to lock you see that time for break then if i choose to unlock this unlocking then you can see unlocked then you can click on here app limit to set app limit on which app you want your child to have access to and again come to content restriction to manage the type of content you want your child to have access to on their phone so this is how to set up operator control on samsung galaxy device it is helpful and educative please don't forget to like and subscribe